Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll see how to add proper fractions. Now, a proper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator. All right, so let's take two proper fractions. Let's say, for example, we have to add or we want to add half and one third. So what we want to do is we want to add half or one upon two and one upon three. So let me say that, uh, let me try to show that on a pizza. So say that I have a pizza that looks something like this, okay? And what I want to do with the pizza is that I want to give half of this pizza to Annie and a third of this pizza to Betty. So if I give half of this pizza to Annie and a third of this pizza to Betty, then how much of this pizza do I give to Annie and Betty together? This is what I want to find out. So now how much or how many slices should we cut up the pizza into? Well, we don't know how many because the first fraction says cut me up into two slices and the second one says cut me up into three slices. So we don't know how many to cut this pizza up into. So what we're going to do is just copy and paste this pizza here and mark one half or one upon two on one of these uh, pizzas and one upon three on the second one. Although this is only one pizza, okay? So actually, eventually, we are going to mark half and one third both on this one single pizza here. But for now, we're going to use two pizzas just so it's not confusing, okay? So what I'm going to do is mark one upon two on the first pizza and one upon three on the second pizza and then find out how much that's equal to on the third pizza. All right, so I'm going to add half and one third and find out the result. All right, so let's mark half on the first pizza. How much is that? Well, this means that if we slice up the pizza into two slices, then one of those slices is equal to half of the pizza. So we cut up this pizza into two slices and this yellow portion over here is equal to or it says that this is half the pizza right now how about one third for one third we must obviously cut up the pizza into three slices because the denominator says three so then this fraction over here is equal to one third of the pizza okay all right now let's try to add this yellow slice over here with this pink slice over here so how do you add this yellow slice with this pink slice over here well actually you cannot add them in the state that they are because these two slices are of different sizes this yellow slice over here is bigger than this pink slice over here and that's because these two fractions are unlike fractions which means that they have different denominators the denominator in the first fraction is two while the denominator in the second fraction is 3. So these two guys are unlike fractions. So if we want to add up these two slices, what we must first do is change them to the same sized slices or change them to like sizes or change these two fractions to like fractions. So these are unlike fractions. If we want to add up these two, what we must first do is change them to like fractions. Or in the terms of pizza, what it means that we must cut up these two pizzas into the same number of slices. So how do you cut up these two pizzas into the same number of slices? Or how do you change unlike fractions to like fractions? Well, for that, what we must do is first find out the common multiple or actually the least common multiple of 2 and 3. So let's first start with finding out the multiples of 2 and 3. So what are the multiples of 2 and 3? Well, the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. This is again the multiplication table for 2. So you just write down the multiplication table for 2, which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 2 times 8 is 16, then 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times 10 is 20, and so on. The multiplication table for 3 is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and so on. All right. Now let's find out the common multiples of 2 and 3. So the common multiples of 2 and 3 are 6, then we have 12, then we have 18, 
So the common multiples so far of 2 and 3 are 6, 12 and 18. But what is the least common multiple of them? Well, the least common multiple of them is obviously 6 because it's the smallest of the common multiples. So that means this 6 is telling you that the LCM of 2 and 3 or the least common multiple of 2 and 3 is equal to 6. So this 6 is telling you that you must cut up each of these pizzas into 6 slices if you really want to add up these 2 slices. Okay. So if you want to add up half and one third, what you must do is first cut up these 2 pizzas into 6 slices. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut up these 2 pizzas into 6 slices. So let me do the cutting here. So I'm cutting up these 2 pizzas into six slices of equal size okay equal size so these are six slices of equal size on both the pizzas now this yellow part which was actually originally equal to only one slice is now made up of three slices so if the pizza is cut up into two slices then this yellow piece or yellow part is equal to only one slice but if this pizza is cut up into six slices then this yellow part is equal to how many let's count it's equal to one two and three slices so what that means on the fraction is half is actually equal to three slices out of six slices well there's another method to convert half to its equivalent three upon six what you do is you take half okay you take half here on the top i'm doing the working on the top you take half and you know that the denominator is equal to six because the lcm is six so the denominator is six and how do you get the numerator but actually how you got the denominator was you multiply 2 by 3 and you got 6. So you must also multiply the numerator by 3 and what you get is 3 here. So half is equal to 3 upon 6 which is the same as this. Half is equal to 3 upon 6. Now how about 1 upon 3? Well, we see here that when the pizza is cut up into 6 slices, then the pink this pink slice over here, which was actually only one slice originally, is now equal to two slices. So the pink slice, the originally one pink slice, is now equal to one and two pink slices, or two smaller pink slices. So that means that in the fraction, this is equal to two out of six slices. Now, if we have to convert this one third to two sixths, how you do that without using the pizzas is, you take one third, and you know that you want six for the denominator. Now, how do you get 6 for the denominator? What you do is you multiply 3 by 2 to get 6. So, you must also multiply the numerator by 2 to get 2. So, this is the same as this guy over here. This 2 sixth, 1 third is equal to 2 sixth. And over here is also 1 third is equal to 2 sixth. So, this is 2 out of the 6 slices. All right. So, that's that. Now it becomes fairly easy to add these two fractions because the slices are of equal size. So these are three slices, these are three yellow slices, and these are two pink slices. Now Annie has got three slices and Betty has two slices of the same size as Annie, right? Annie's one slice is equal to Betty's one slice. But Annie has got three slices and Betty has got two slices. So together they have three plus two which is five slices so if i mark that on the third pizza what i have is if i cut up this pizza into six slices let me cut up this pizza into six slices then let's mark annie's and betty's portions on the pizza okay so i have cut up this pizza into six slices one two and three is annie's share of the pizza and one and two is betty's share on the pizza so if we have to mark these slices, this would be 1, 2, and 3 of Annie's and 4 and 5, which is actually only 2 slices, of Betty. So together, Annie and Betty have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 slices out of the 6 slices. So this question mark is actually equal to 5 upon 6. So what you have is 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3, which we change to like fractions. And that gave us 3 upon 6 plus 2 upon 6 is nothing but 3 plus 2, which is 5 upon 6. The same as this guy over here. So here is the solution to this problem. So what you must do first is when you want to add proper fractions, which are unlike, then you must first change them to like fractions. So half becomes 3 sixth and one third becomes 2 sixth. And then you do the addition. So then you get 
3.6 plus 2.6 is equal to 5.6. Remember that you only add the numerators. So you add the numerators, which are 3 and 2. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And the denominator stays the same because the denominator is telling you that the pizza is cut up into six slices. All right, so that's that about this lesson. We'll do more on addition of proper fractions when we solve word problems. But for now, why don't you go and do some practice exercises because practice makes perfect. So for practice exercises, for worksheets, and to see how good you're getting at math, Go to www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.